Fantástica. Tonight we're going to start with a. Uh... Can we call the roll? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. That's okay. Yes. Okay. We do. Do we call the roll? Yep. First. Okay. Yes. March 26, 2019. Please be advised this meeting is being taped for audio and video broadcast. The meeting is also being closed captioned. It's important that everyone speak clearly into the microphones and only one person speak at a time. Assisted listening devices are available. Mr. Burnett. Present. Mr. Corsello. Mr. Hostin. Present. Mr. Sacinelli. Present. Ms. Smith. Here. Ms. Melendez. Here. Mr. Uranides. Present. Mr. Dumas. Ms. Young. Here. Mr. Kites. Here. Ms. Siegelbaum. Here. Mr. Hempstead. Here. Mr. Serenides. Here. Mr. Ignari. Here. Mr. Livingston? Here. 13 present. 13 present. We have a quorum. Uh, can you read the notice now? Or? I already did that one. This notice you read? Yes. I did that first. You did? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my first item is to welcome our championship Norwalk Marching Bears. And whoever is with Marching Bears, please come down. I want to have a proclamation to read from the mayor. Go ahead, all of you. Oh, come on. Come on, everyone. Everyone. Come on down. 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 Come on Too. Yeah, parents come also. Barbara, you want to go up there? <laughs> come on, Rick. Hmm? Come on, come join. I know. You can slide down a little bit, too. Wow, this is a Kodak moment right now. We don't bite. See what the mayor's missing? You want. We should FaceTime him. No? Want to FaceTime him? I'm going to send him a picture. You guys got the same round. We're in the logo. Let's do a panorama. Do a panorama? You get that coat on. I can't see you, Rick. All right, so it's a, it's a proclamation for the Norwalk High School Marching Bears, dated March 26, 2019. Whereas on November 11, 2018, Norwalk High School Marching Bears wins first place in U.S. Band's National Championship at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, their third championship win since 2014. And whereas in past months, the Bears won first place in the U.S. Band's New England States in, in the New England Regional Competition. And whereas the team of Bears consists of more than 180 students and scored at 95.575 out of a total of 100 possible points to beat other Connecticut schools, including Southington and Trumbull, to win the Class 6 Open title, the top spot in the competitive division with the largest school bands. And whereas the Bears of Norwalk High School continue to thrive using their skills and talents to achieve the U.S. National Championship. Now, therefore, uh, Harry W. Rilling, Mayor of the City of Norwalk, does hereby congratulate and honor the Norwalk High School Marching Bears in Norwalk and in so doing call upon family, friends, and supporters to join me in celebrating the marching band for their hard work and dedication to win in first place at the U.S. National Championship. In witness whereof, I've set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Norwalk, Connecticut to be affixed on this 26th day of March, 2019. Signed, Harry W. Rilling, Mayor, Norwalk, Connecticut. Congratulations. Parent that one, wants to take this one, for the class. Thank you. Thank you for all you guys do. You make us all proud. Great parents, too. 
No. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, yeah. Hey. You were there? Yep. He was my. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Moving on to the regular agenda. Can you cry? You crying? Let it out. Barbara, you are you okay? Yes. Four years of my life. Oh, oh this is this my is. Family. Oh. Senior. Oh. All right. The first item is the acceptance of the minutes of the regular meeting of March 12, 2019. Do I have a motion? Can hear you. Mr. Gnary. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do you have a question? No. Go. Okay. Are there any comments, changes, suggestions on these minutes? Yes. Ms. Young. Uh, page three. The last um, paragraph has Miss Britton said there is zero trust, that there is zero trust. It's mm -hmm. written twice. Okay. 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 Uh, any further comments or changes? And I just think on page five, mm -hmm. um, the second paragraph that starts with Mr. Bonifat, is that supposed to be water waste treatment plant or is that plan that is that supposed to be? Plant. Plant, you're correct. That's it. Good catch. Okay. Yeah, it's good catch. Any further comments, changes? All right, hearing none, all in favor of the minutes as amended? You signify by saying aye. Any opposed? None. It passed unanimously. Thank you. Uh, next item is public participation. Do we have any? any? Brad McKinney. Good evening. My name is uh, Brad McKinney, 132 Ponus Avenue. Um, as a citizen organizer, Pride in the Park, and board member of Triangle Community Center, I would like to thank the mayor and the council uh, for the consideration tonight of our application on the Recreation, Parks, and Cultural Affairs Committee. There's some items that uh, unfortunately are not able to be explained in the application that I would like to take a moment to share with, with each of you. Pride in the Park will be held on Saturday, June 9th in Matthews Park. This is our sixth consecutive year for the event. Many citizens may think that discrimination of the LGBTQ plus community is something of the past. This is not always true. Merely look at the local news, national news, at hate crimes, vicious murders of transgender individuals throughout the country. TCC has continued producing Pride in the Park as an event to celebrate diversity and heritage of the LGBTQ plus community while providing a safe space for people to express their true authentic selves. And we invite any individual marginalized in any way to stand with us and celebrate because tonight we, because together we'll have a stronger voice. Further, we ask that each of you stand with us to honor yourself, a friend, a neighbor, a family member, or to merely stand in support of full equality for all citizens of Norwalk. <laughs> Until 2019, Pride in the Park was the only significant Pride Festival within the state of Connecticut during Pride Month. And if you're unaware, Pride Month is in June. Other cities have embraced and supported diversity by getting involved to ensure Pride Festivals are being hosted in their town. Earlier in March, the council in Middletown, Connecticut made a financial commitment of $60,000 to support a first-time festival. And this festival is scheduled for Saturday, June the 15th. Civic and community leaders are embracing diversity and acceptance by promoting and attending Pride Festivals. It's my understanding that there's a plan and consideration to promote LGBTQ tourism within the state. Norwalk should, 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 should jump in an opportunity to promote the achievement of hosting the largest Pride Festival in Connecticut and capitalizing on tourism opportunities generated by the LGBTQ plus community. As Pride in the Park continues to grow, ideas are being evaluated to expand this into a weekend event, thus making an LGBTQ tourist destination for at least three days. Pride in the Park will retain the ultimate goal of celebrating acceptance and diversity within the LGBTQ plus community, and we're grateful to have Norwalk 
as the home for our event. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McKinney. Is there anyone else who didn't get a chance to sign up who would like to speak? <coughs> Hearing none, uh, close public participation and move on to the uh, resignation. Resignations and appointments. Uh, first item is a re resignation of Colin Hostin from the Human Relations Commission. Lucky to have him join us here. Uh, the second item is the appointment. And appointments is um, for Donna Carnes for Board of Assessment Appeals alternate. Do I have a motion? Mr. Hempstead? I'd like to move Donna Carnes. I know Donna Carnes. Stay this probably 35, 40 years. Um, I'm not giving away your age, but uh, she's a true no walker. She's been involved a lot with the community and uh, a realtor, and I know she knows her stuff, but she's fair minded. And uh, move her as an alternate. All right, thank you. Is there any, anybody else? All right, hearing none, all in favor? Uh, unanimous. Congratulations. <clears throat> The next item is the reappointment of William R. Spears to the Redevelopment Agency. Do I have a motion? I'd like to move that. Mr. Satchinelli? Uh, I'd like to uh, speak on that briefly. I've known Dr. Uh, William Spears for the past two years. Um, he is a dedicated professional in all that he does, and we're lucky to have him uh, back for, for uh, redevelopment. Thank you. Any further comments, discussion? I would hearing none. All in favor? Unanimous. Congratulations. Is he here? No, he can't be here. Can we have Donna come down and I'll swear Donna, to her. Come on down, please. <clears throat> come on down. Please join us for a swearing. There are no prizes. There. you got to get sworn in. <laughs> no, I'm going to swear you in. I take mug shots. I swear all the time. I promise not to swear you. I swear all the time. That's I always want to say Donna Cameron when I see I wish you. You, Donna Carnes, having been appointed as an alternate member of the Board of Assessment Appeals of the City of Norwalk, do solemnly swear or affirm that you will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office according to your best skill and judgment, and so help you God or upon the pains and penalties of perjury. I do. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for serving. Congratulations. I'm going to give you. There's two of them. You'll sign one. Well, that's just so you know also when your expiration is. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. sure. All right. Thank you. I was surprised too. Sworn in. George. You are. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Turning to the mayor's remarks, uh, first item is resident passes expire on March 31st. Norwalk residents can go online to obtain a pass and verify their information is correct for the upcoming season. A reminder that residents will not need a pass for beaches and parks beginning May 15th, but the paper pass is still required for the transfer station and yard waste site. Visit norwalkct.org slash resident pass for more information. There'll be a special events and school rental permit signing event to be held at City Hall on Monday, April 8th from 10 to 11 in room 231. City departments will be present to sign off on applications for upcoming events. For questions, please contact Donna King at dking at norwalkct.org. And finally, hats off to the Norwalk High School girls basketball team. They won the Class LL Championship with the last second shot and finished the year undefeated. Congratulations to the players, coaches, and families. We'll be inviting, be inviting them to the next council meeting on April 9th for special recognition. And with that, I will turn to the acting council president, Mr. Kaides. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll keep this brief. Uh, tonight, Mr. Hempstead will be re reading the consent calendar. If you're here for a specific item, you hear your item read. That means the item has been approved, so you're no longer required to stay. So now I pass it off to you, Mr. Hempstead. See if I can speed read this tonight. There you go. <clears throat> uh, item A1 consent to add to the end of the agenda discussion regarding disposition of development agreement with the City of Norwalk and the Development Agency, POCO. Item A2 approve the authorization of settled claims from Barillo, Figuerala, Ordez versus Franciscus Van Rensburg and the City of Norwalk. Item A3 approved authorization to settle Samantha Segura versus Sorry. Franco's. 
Ron Riesberg and the City of Norwalk, and item A4, authorized to execute an indemnification agreement with Webster Bank. Item 7, uh, 7A, Parks and Rec, A1, authorized Mayor Aaron to enter agreement with Warren Shrek for the use of Cap Pasture Beach for the, their light for Kara Five Walk to be held Sunday, August 25th, 2019, from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Instead of being at 6 a.m., tear down no later than 1 p.m. on Sunday, August 25th. Estimated attendance 350. Item A2, authorize the Mayor Harry Milling to enter an agreement with 99 Bottles event, LLC, for the use of Oyster Shell Park for the Craft Beer Festival to be held on Sunday, June 1st, 2019, from 2 until 5 p.m. Set up to begin at 10 a.m. and tear down no later than 8 p.m. on Saturday, June 1st, 2019. Attendance 1,200 people. Item 4A, Parks and Rec authorized the Mayor Harry Rilling to enter an agreement with Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, Inc. for the use of Cat Pasture Beach for the overflow parking at Taylor Farm for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Light the Night to be held Saturday, November 2nd, 2019, from 5 to 8 p.m. Set up to begin on Friday, November 1st, 2019 at 9 a.m. with tear down no later than 11 p.m. on Saturday, November 2nd, 2019. Estimated attendance 1,000. Approve the uh, use of the showmobile by the Leukemia and Lithonia Society for the Leukemia and Lithonia Society's Light like the Night to be held Saturday, November 2nd, 2019, from 5 until 8. <clears throat> Item B1, Finance. Accept and approve the uh, report of the Claims Committee dated March 14, 2019. Item 2, for the information purposes only, narrative of tax collector dated March 14, 2019. Item B3, for the information purposes only, monthly tax collector's report dated February 2019. Item B4, resolve that a sum not to exceed $8,246 be in the same is hereby transferred to the Police Department Special Service Division. The funds will be allocated to revenues, the account is noted, and the expenditures account is also noted. Item B5, resolve that the sum not to exceed $68,000 be the same is hereby transferred from contingency to the operation of the public works to cover salt and chemical supplies. Both counts are noted. Item B6, resolution approved a special capital appropriation in the amount of $188,413 to the Parks and Recreation Department to fund the purchase of insulation equipment at the corner of Day and Raymond Street. The count is noted. Item B7, a resolution approved a special capital appropriation in the amount of $67,500 Historic Commission for Water Line Replacement at Matthews Park. The count is noted. Item B8, resolution authorizing insurance issuance of 67500 of general obligation bonds to the City of Noah to fund the Historic Commission's appropriation of water line replacement at Matthews Park. Item 7C1, Land and Building Management, authorizing Mayor Hare Rilling to enter an agreement with Melissa Marshall Disability Policy Consulting, LLC for Americans with Disability Compliance Evaluation of 10 schools for amount not to exceed 40,000, the count is noted. Item 2A, authorize the purchasing agent to issue purchase order to Red Thread Square Spaces, LLC, for moving <coughs> of furniture and equipment at City Hall as part of the warranty carpet replacement project for a total not to exceed $42,924, the account is noted. Item 2B, authorize the Office of Building Management to issue change orders on purchase order for total not to exceed $4,292. Item 3, authorize Mayor Harry Milling to execute an agreement with Newfield Construction, Inc. as the Construction Management CM for the NOAA High School Toilet Room ADA Upgrades, Culinary Arts Expansion Project, and Wood Doors and Paneling Replacement. Terms in the agreement shall include the following pre-construction phase services, uh, 35,000 CM fees, 2.5% of the contract, and CM contingency of 3%. Following bid process, final contract GMP will be submitted to the Common Council for approval. Uh, the counts are noted. Authorized purchasing agent to issue a purchase order to Connecticut Material Testing Lab, Inc. for material testing services for the Pona's School Addition and Alteration Project for a total not to exceed $77,000. Uh, count is noted where the funds are available. Item 5, authorized purchasing agency to issue a purchase order to William Desire for moving services for the Pona's School <coughs> Addition and Alteration Project for a total sum not to exceed $125,000. Uh, count is noted. Item 6A, authorize Mayor Harry W. Rilling to execute an agreement with Buyer Blinder Bell Architects Planners, LLP, for the Maritime Aquarium Functional Replacement Project to provide architectural design services for a total not to exceed 
$33.16. Uh, funds are available from the state's Maritime Aquarium Functional Replacement Grant. Item 6B, authorize establish an allowance for the project related to reimbursable expenses and additional services in the amount of $150,000. That is the consent calendar, Mr. Chair, and I move for to that. No, your, um, your power read is much appreciated. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, if there are no objections to the consent calendar, I will now call for a vote. All in favor of the consent calendar as read, please raise your hand and signify yes. Looks to be unanimous. Back to you, Mr. Livingston. Thank you, Mr. Kites. So then we're going to item, well, Mr. Hempstead has moved item A1 to the end of the meeting. We're moving to item 7A3A. Uh, Mr. Corsello. I'd like to make a motion to authorize the mayor to enter into an agreement with Triangle Community Center Inc. for the use of Matthews Park for their annual Pride in the Park to be held June 8, 2019 from 12 noon, 8 p.m. Set up to begin at 6 a.m. with tear down no later than 10 p.m. on Saturday, June 8. Mike, microphone, please. 2019, estimated attendance 4,500. Uh, along with that, I'll move item 3B, which is approve the use of the showmobile by Triangle Community Center, Inc. for the annual Pride in the Park at Matthews Park to be held Saturday, June 8, 2019, from 12 noon to 8 p.m. I'd like to move that. Okay. Uh, any further discussion on this item? Ms. Melendez. Thank you, um, Mr. Corsell and Mr. Livingston. Um, I just want to speak very briefly to this event. Um, I was on the council, uh, it's crazy to think, six years ago when we first voted um, to allow this event uh, at Matthews Park. And I just wanted to speak to the how amazing the event is, how much it's grown. Um, you know, rain or shine, people go. And there was like, I think one, maybe two years where it rained and it was still, there were still so many people. Um, I just really wanted to thank the Triangle Community Center for continuing to put this on, um, for showing their dedication to the LGBTQ community um, and to Norwalk. Um, it's like I, it's my favorite event <laughs> every uh, year. It's in our district, which is really great too. Um, but it's kid friendly. It's uh, teeny. I mean, the, every every group has uh, something to do at Pride in the Park. Um, you know, when I travel around the state to things, people are like, oh, you're from Norwalk. I went to Pride in the Park. So I just wanted to um, speak to it briefly and how thankful I am that this event is still going on and, and how much it's grown and just really thankful for the Triangle Community Center. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none. Oh, Ms. Austin. I, I wanted to uh, just add a little bit of my own uh, pride about this. Uh, I'm not as old as Eloisa on the council, I mean. <laughs> Um, but I do, I remember that first Pride in the Park, uh, 2014, we, we had about 500 people show up. Uh, this year we're expecting almost 5,000. I think it's, um, it's a great testament to how important this uh, event is, not just to the city of Norwalk, um, but to Fairfield County. And really we have, we have people come from all over the tri-state area. I'm really glad that Brad was here tonight to, to talk a little bit about um, you know, the significance of a, an event like that, that kind of uh, visibility um, in a world where um, uh, LGBTQ plus people still find themselves uh, legally marginalized in, in a lot of the, uh, this country um, and still find themselves um, uh, uh, more prone to uh, be uh, homeless and more prone to commit uh, teenage suicide than their pair, than their straight pairs, even here in uh, Connecticut. And so I think this event um, is extremely important, not just to Norwalk, but to our state and to our country. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, signify by raising your hand or saying aye. All right, unanimous. Thank you. All right. Um, I think that's it for the regular agenda. Do I have a motion to go into executive session? Motion. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, executive session. Remember the line? No, no action was taken. Yeah. I'll wait till he gets if he's ready. Okay, we've come out of executive session. Good. Come in an ex executive session, no actions were taken there. We did invite 
uh, Tim Sheehan and Brian Callahan in. Um, Darren. Oh, Darren, I'm sorry. Darren Callahan. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Damn. Sorry. All right. And uh, motion to adjourn. I'll do it. Doug's waiting. All in favor? Aye. And I don't have a. Thank you. Doug had another question. Good job, Mayor. Yeah. <laughs> I lost my. Good job. <laughs>